Ever wondered how a land of ice and fire was formed in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? Well, let's take a step back in time to when the Earth was still shaping itself. At the junction of the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, magma from deep within the Earth's mantle forced its way to the surface, creating a landmass that would eventually become the enigmatic island we now know as Iceland. Over millions of years, a series of volcanic eruptions, coupled with the steady buildup of glacial ice, sculpted this raw, newborn land into a breathtaking symphony of fire and ice. It's a landscape that not only captivates the eye, but also tells a compelling story of our planet's powerful, ever-changing nature. And then, as the dust of creation settled, the stage was set for the arrival of Iceland's first inhabitants. So, the land of fire and ice was born, ready to be discovered and inhabited. But who were the brave souls that first set foot on this rugged landscape? If we venture back to the 9th century, we meet the Norse settlers, a hardy group of explorers who hailed from the Scandinavian countries of Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. These were the first known inhabitants of Iceland, drawn to its raw and untamed beauty. Life was far from easy for these early settlers. Their survival depended on a combination of farming, fishing, and hunting. Sheep were their primary livestock, providing meat, milk, and wool for clothing. The harsh climate and limited resources demanded resourcefulness and resilience. Yet, despite these challenges, the Norse settlers were not just survivors. They were builders, cultivators, and lawmakers. The Norse settlers brought with them their rich cultural traditions, from their intricate woodwork and metalwork to their vibrant storytelling. These stories, or sagas, are an invaluable record of their lives, beliefs, and adventures. They tell tales of heroic journeys, epic battles, and supernatural creatures. But they also offer a glimpse into everyday life, revealing a society that valued honor, courage, and wisdom. One of the most enduring legacies of these Norse settlers was the establishment of the All Thing, one of the world's oldest functioning parliaments. Founded in the year 1000, the All Thing was a gathering place where disputes were settled, laws were made, and important decisions were taken. It was a testament to their democratic spirit and their dedication to maintaining order and justice in their society. The All Thing met annually at Thing Veller, a location of great natural beauty and symbolic significance. Here, beneath the open sky and surrounded by the rugged landscape, the laws of the land were recited to all who attended. This practice of open-air assembly continued for centuries, reflecting the deep-rooted respect for nature and community that characterized Norse society. From these humble beginnings, a unique society began to flourish in the harsh conditions of Iceland. From the early Norse settlers' resilience and resourcefulness emerged a culture that continues to inspire and captivate us today. Their legacy is not just in the laws, the sagas, or the settlements they left behind, but in the spirit of adventure and exploration that is so quintessentially Icelandic. How did Iceland fare during the turmoil of the Middle Ages? This question ushers us into the third chapter of our tale, an era of internal strife and external influences, the Middle Ages and the Age of the Stirlungs. The Age of the Stirlungs, spanning the 12th to 13th centuries, was a tumultuous period in Iceland's history. The Stirlungs were one of the most powerful clans in Iceland, but their rise to power was not without conflict. This era was marked by civil war, as rival chieftains and their followers clashed in a bid for dominance. In this era of chaos, the Stirlungs led by Sturla Thordarson stood out. They were the most influential family, and their fame was not confined to Iceland. Sturla was a renowned author and historian, penning sagas that echo down the centuries, giving us a glimpse into the struggles of that time. But the Stirlung's rule was not to last forever. As the internal skirmishes raged on, Iceland began to draw the attention of the world outside. This was a time when kingdoms were expanding, monarchs were consolidating their power, and the concept of nationhood was taking root. Norway, a rising power in the north, saw an opportunity in the divided Iceland. In the 13th century, a pact was formed between the Stirlungs and the Norwegian king. This agreement, known as the Old Covenant, saw Iceland become a vassal state to Norway. It was a move aimed at bringing stability to the strife-ridden country. But this was not to be the final chapter of Iceland's Middle Ages. The transition from a free state to a dependency did not come without its challenges. And as the centuries rolled on, Iceland's fortunes shifted again. The country eventually became a dependency of Denmark, a change that carried its own set of trials and tribulations. In the shadow of larger powers, Iceland navigated a turbulent period of its history. 
The Middle Ages and the Age of the Stirlungs were a time of change, an era that shaped the country we know today. This was a time when Iceland learned to weather the storm, a lesson that would serve it well in the centuries to come. How did a remote island in the North Atlantic achieve independence in the 20th century? This question takes us to the heart of Iceland's modern history, a story of national awakening and resilience. As the 19th century rolled in, the winds of change began to stir in Iceland. The Age of Enlightenment had planted the seeds of nationalism across Europe, and Iceland was no exception. The Icelandic people who had been under Danish rule for centuries began to yearn for self-rule. This rise of nationalism was marked by a cultural renaissance. The Icelandic language, literature, and traditions were rediscovered and celebrated, fostering a strong sense of national identity. The journey towards independence, however, was not going to be a smooth sail. The Danish crown was reluctant to let go of Iceland, but the tides of history were turning against them. Enter the 20th century and World War II, a global conflict that inadvertently accelerated Iceland's independence process. When Germany occupied Denmark in April of 1940, Iceland found itself in a geopolitical conundrum. The island was strategically important in the North Atlantic, and it wasn't long before the Allies stepped in. British forces, and later the Americans, occupied Iceland to prevent it from falling into German hands. This foreign occupation, while not a direct path to independence, did set the stage for it. With Denmark under German control and unable to govern, Iceland effectively became a self-governing entity. The islanders seized this opportunity, and on June 17, 1944, in the midst of global turmoil, Iceland declared its independence. The world was changing, and so was Iceland. From a remote Danish dependency, it had transformed into a sovereign nation. The journey had been long and fraught with challenges, but the spirit of the Icelandic people had prevailed. Against all odds, Iceland emerged as a sovereign nation, ready to make its mark in the world. The story of Iceland's independence is a testament to the power of national identity and the resilience of a people determined to shape their own destiny. From a land of ice and fire, what has Iceland become today? Let's dive into the modern marvel that is Iceland, a country that has not only preserved its rich history, but also embraced the future with open arms. Today, Iceland boasts an incredibly high standard of living. It's consistently ranked amongst the top countries for quality of life, with one of the highest life expectancies in the world, and an impressive healthcare system that ensures every citizen's well-being. Education is highly valued in Iceland. With a near 100% literacy rate, it is clear that Icelanders understand the power of knowledge. Education is free and mandatory from ages 6 to 16, encouraging a lifelong love of learning. Iceland's commitment to sustainability is truly remarkable. Nearly all of the country's electricity and heating comes from renewable sources, predominantly geothermal and hydroelectric power. This isn't just about being green though, it's a practical response to the country's unique geography. But what about the culture? Iceland's cultural scene is as vibrant as the northern lights that dance across its winter skies. Music flows through the veins of the country, with music festivals like Iceland Airwaves attracting international attention. And let's not forget the literature. Iceland publishes more books per capita than any other country, carrying on a tradition of storytelling that dates back to the ancient sagas. Iceland even has its own unique cuisine, with traditional dishes like fermented shark and sheep's head, not for the faint-hearted. But it's not all about the old ways. Modern Icelandic cuisine is innovative and exciting, often featuring fresh seafood and local ingredients. Despite its small size and remote location, Iceland has made its mark on the world stage. From its progressive social policies to its contribution to arts and literature, Iceland punches well above its weight. Today, Iceland stands as a testament to human resilience and innovation, a beacon of sustainability and cultural richness in the heart of the Atlantic. So, what have we learned about this unique island nation? Well, we've journeyed through Iceland's enigmatic beginnings, marveling at its geological formation out of volcanic activity and glacial movements. We've sailed alongside the Norse settlers who braved the unknown and established the first permanent settlements, thereby writing the initial chapters of this island's intriguing history. We've witnessed the turmoil and power struggles of the Middle Ages, the era of the Stirlungs, and how it shaped the cultural and political landscape of Iceland. We've celebrated Iceland's modern triumphs, its independence, and the development of a robust, inclusive society. And we've explored present-day Iceland, a nation that beautifully marries its historical legacy with modern progress, 
where tradition and innovation coexist. We've seen that Iceland is not just about stunning landscapes and northern lights, but also a vibrant culture, a rich history, and a resilient people. Iceland, a land of contrasts and resilience, continues to enchant and inspire, a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity.